Hey, welcome back to Garden Rose. It is week three of the pantry challenge. So I'm actually diving right into meals because it's game day and I'm very excited for dinner. I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek into what I've got in front of me and you can guess what I'm making and then see if you're right at the end. Were you right? Did you guess nachos? I'm so excited, they look so good. For this night's meal, I was really excited to pull out this Thai chili lime seasoning from my pantry. I've had it for quite a while and haven't used it, and it's just something that I always forget about, but I thought that it would go really well on this salmon, and spoiler alert, I was right. It was really good. I'm definitely going to have to use this seasoning more. And this rice cauliflower mix I actually got from Trader Joe's probably over a year ago. I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a long time, so that tells you how long I've had it. So I was really excited to use that and to enjoy it. It was a little bit spicy for my liking, but my husband really liked it and it went really well with the salmon. We paired it with this salad and we even with the salad, I was able to use our pickled beets and the hummus that we had in the fridge. So, and of course those peppers, I use some of the peppers, but the hummus I mixed together with a regular dressing. I think it was a basil vinaigrette. So mixing it with the hummus just made it so creamy and it was really delicious. The salad looks a little bit plain, but it was just bursting with flavor. So it was fun to try something creative and try something new. I've never mixed hummus with dressing before, but it just sounded right and it felt right. So I'll definitely be doing that again in the future. But yeah, salad and salmon, can't go wrong.
The next day for dinner, we were able to enjoy the beef stroganoff. So this was a freezer meal that I had made a few months back and I've been looking forward to eating this because beef stroganoff is one of my favorite meals. This recipe is actually from my grandma. So I cooked up some egg noodles, put that on top and mm, it's just comfort in a bowl, especially with how cold and snowy it's been. This was just like a hug and so delicious. After enjoying that baked oatmeal from last week so much, I decided to make another one. So this time I didn't show the whole thing because it's basically the same as the last time I made it, but I did swap out the maple syrup for the corn cob jelly. So I finally tried that and it turned out really good. I didn't notice any difference. This one was a little bit more dry than the last one. I think just because I had the maple syrup plus a bunch of jam and this time I just swapped it out for the jam. And then I did put some mixed nuts in it and some jam. I tried to swirl it on top and you'll see it doesn't really come out like I expect it. So I go back through with a blueberry sauce that I had made in the summertime and that made it more aesthetically what I was going for. But regardless, these baked oatmeals are really becoming a household staple. Both myself and my husband really enjoy them. So glad I found this recipe and that's definitely gonna continue as we move out of the pantry challenge. For dinner, I wanted to make a recipe that my friend had sent me. It's a lemon orzo chicken meatball recipe. And I don't have chicken, but I had a lot of the other ingredients. So I was able to make it my own with beef. So I made up these meatballs. They just have onions and breadcrumbs in them, nothing crazy. And then that was the last of my homemade butter. So I was able to use that and cook those up added the orzo in to toast it, cooked the orzo, and then all of this goes on top of a bed of feta and yogurt mixed together to become a sauce. Oh my God, go make this recipe right now. If you have these ingredients, ask me for the recipe. I will send it to you. You need to try this. I really do think it would be really great with chicken, but this turned out awesome too. I think it reminded me of a Mediterranean dish with the beef because it kind of tasted like maybe lamb. I don't know. It, it tasted so good though and I cannot wait to make this again and have it again because even just watching this video back my mouth is watering. Like this was one of my favorite recipes by far so far. I almost forgot one of the best parts. So it calls for sun-dried tomatoes and last year with the booming cherry tomato plant that I had. I cut some of those up and dehydrated them to make my own version of a quote unquote sun dried tomato. So they've been in my pantry for the longest time, really just since summer, but it felt like a long time. And I haven't known what to do with them. That's not something I usually just snack on. So I've been struggling to find a recipe to use them in. And that was just another reason why this recipe was so perfect because it called for the sun-dried tomatoes. We were able to sprinkle those on. So I'll stop blubbering. You need to just watch this come together because it's amazing. That's a sun dried tomato. Oh. Get some meatball, okay. some rice, 
get the feather on the bottom. And Got then it. Meat. Got it. Ready? Yeah. Cheers. Oops. You gave me your food. <laughs> Wow. It's very good. To finish up the week, I was able to use the egg noodles that were left over and throw some pesto on them for an easy lunch. I was so excited about this jar because it's a mason jar and it's so cute and little. And I knew that the Classico brand was like that for the spaghetti sauce, but I didn't even think about it for the tiny little pesto jar. So I'm so excited to reuse that jar. And towards the end of the week, my sweet tooth kicked in. So I found a cookie mix that I actually had in my pantry for quite a while. These are lavender shortbread cookies and the mix came with this icing packet. So I was able to make those and it was pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie, I love baking. So this was a great way to end the week. But anyway, thanks for hanging out with me while I show you my week three meals for the pantry challenge. I hope if you're doing it, you feel inspired or you get some ideas that you can take into your kitchen. Feel free to leave a comment with what you've been making.